So this is coming out. Well, not this one in particular. See, this was 2017 and 2023. It's all suede. You go ahead and comment below how you feel about that. Right now, I am on four hours of sleep. These videos may be a little bit out of order based on my hair because now it's freshly done. And in these other videos coming after this one, you will see that my hair is just blow dried because that was prior to me getting my hair done before going to California. Are you staying with me here? The Aces won. Back to back champions. We won. Game four. Uh, there's so much that can be said. I've said it on Twitter at underscore talks with TJ. Don't you worry. A time was had making all the jokes at Slack Mamba and MVP that didn't score above 10 points. I mean, there was just so much to discuss for my aces and this game, the bench doing, they just stepped up in such a tremendous way. Point God, you got your ring, regardless of you being injured, you were still the floor general on the sidelines for us. CP three, three rings, three teams. I'm on cloud nine and also I'm a little bit delirious right now, but we know that the Air Jordan one high reimagined Royal will come out now. I wanted this pair so bad. This is the 2017 pair. Of course, this was a retro that came out. Shout out to Bay, aka eBay, because I was able to secure this and it is still just so well done. And guess what? This is a GS. This is how I know that Jordan is capable, right? Like, here's the thing. The apparel that I have from Jordan Brand in my closet, I have quite a few cargo pants. I have a lot of hoodies, tees, jackets. The apparel I love so much. The women's team specifically, they do an amazing job. And then if you've never tried out like cargo pants from Jordan Brand, men, women, doesn't matter. Just just do yourself a favor, all right? Give them a try. They're great. So I wanted this pair so badly. Picked these up on eBay. Zero regrets. So happy to have the have these, which is the reason why I don't need this new pair. Not only because I have these, but I am personally just not a fan of the all over suede upper. Now, some of you may be. And if you are, you know my motto over here, please get whatever it is that you like. It goes with your style and you've also budgeted for it. Okay. We are never going broke for a brand. Certainly not a brand that tries to test my patience and play in my face when it comes to the quality on some of the pairs that I get. And there's a video where I'll kind of go on some rants about us wanting to put it on the consumer, which some of it is on us just to pull back on uh, settling for things that we're not happy with. But I think it's also clearly on the brand to do better because we know that they're capable of better. That's all I'm going to say there. So why are we talking about the suede <laughs> royal? Well, Pictures, of course, have gone out. They're available. You can see them online. The early looks are, they're hitting, okay? I'm not saying I was trying to be like, okay, maybe I am a smart ass from time to time, but Sneaker News posted an early look for this pair. And, you know, I, I get it. Early looks, especially in hand or on foot, they can sway you one way or another. If you're already for the shoe, you will definitely be for the shoe even more if it, you know, piques your interest more. It can do the opposite, which is what it did to me because they posted it and they said, does seeing the Royal Reimagined ones change your mind about the shoe? I said, not one single bit. And like does the total opposite for me. I uh, just, does the total opposite for me. It's, uh, just doesn't work for me. It does not. And some, some pairs, maybe some silhouettes, if it's just all suede, maybe it just doesn't work for me. Now, that's not really the kicker of why I wanted to do this video today, other than the fact I just needed a reason to get up here and say, Asia Wilson, finals MVP. No. EA went out, which we know what that is, right? Exclusive access. But that always comes with a few stipulations, at least for sneakers. So you received early or you received exclusive access, my um, my apologies, on 1019 when I'm filming this. Again, we won Wednesday night on 1018. 1019 is when I'm filming this. Do we understand I'm on four hours of sleep? Okay, exclusive access. Here's the thing. For you to understand it, you have to take an L on both reimagined pairs. That would be the Air Jordan 3, this one right here. Okay, you had to take an L on this. And you need to take an L on the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Patent Bread, which I have. It's in the other room. You've seen that in recent videos. Uh, now they said every member who meets this criteria won't be selected. Two trains of thought. Are we getting to the point where maybe that's unnecessary and we just let people try to go for the pairs they want to go for because so much is out. Consumers, if you're like myself, depending on the model and the colorway and the material... It's just maybe not giving the value you would like it to give for that drop. Maybe we're past needing the whole, you know, the parameters for exclusive access. 
And I'm not alone in thinking that, all right? Because uh, Frank Cooker said, nobody is on it like that. And this is coming from someone who had a hand in making them. Just let the people rock and don't overthink it. And if you know Frank, like he's had his hand in so many amazing pairs. Like I would say certainly much more prolific in sneakers and the history of sneakers than this. And he's saying, you know what? Just let the people go for it if they want to go for it. I agree with him. But here's another one that made so much sense to me. And I, I just think it's real. So the person said, you know, pretty much what if we didn't want the other two? Like, what if you aren't a fan of threes? And I know some of you think that's wild crazy, but people could not be a fan of threes. What if you weren't a fan of the patent leather reimagined look on the bread one? And you just want this suede royal one. You needed to have gone for two pairs that you didn't even care about and didn't want just to have access to this one. And I understand you're not going to make everybody happy. They're a brand. They will have their parameters set and they will go about their business on how they want to go to market. But I think it's okay to discuss... <laughs> Does that make sense? Because I understand the person saying, I didn't want any, either one of these, so why on earth should I have to go for them to actually get the shoe that I want? That part is easy It's easy to support that person's take. They shouldn't necessarily have to, but then it comes back to, well, how do you narrow it down between those that are just gonna go for it to resell it? Again, I don't know if there's any perfect solution to all of this at the end of the day, but I think we are reaching a point where people are using more discernment, they just have more options. They're not letting the hype, especially manufactured hype of a shoe or the nostalgia of a shoe based on its colorway, get them in this mental space of, I just got to have this no matter what. We don't need any one particular shoe. I've said that a lot of times, and I think consumers are also going to prove that with uh, every single pair, you know, that's dropped in, in recent years, maybe, let's say 2021 was selling out. We're, we're past those days right now, and I think it's a really great thing, so... If you're going for the brand new reimagined Royal One in all suede, I wish you the best of luck. If you're not and you just want to enjoy this pair, or if you're going for it and maybe you're like, you know, uh, maybe some style ideas, well, you can check out the video for this one here because it's definitely just more casual, like a lot of things that people have within their closet right now. So maybe you'll draw some inspiration from that. Who knows? I know that I truly appreciate you tuning into this video. And if you're going for the Air Jordan 12 that officially drops later this month, I wish you all the best. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like mine. Also, I got GS and I'm just done with GS when it comes to 12. This one will actually drop officially on November 4th. So you have a little bit of time if you didn't get these via exclusive access. But I wish you all the best if you're going for them. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Back to back champs, Las Vegas Aces. Peace.